Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll come back tomorrow and watch us again. And today is transfer day. Yay! After crippling traffic, Peter has composed himself. What? <laughs> Peter hates traffic. I do, but it wasn't too, too bad. But no. I was looking iffy there for a second. Yeah. But we made it with six minutes to spare. Our embryo is waiting for us. Let's go get our ice cube. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's do it. We're waiting to hear from our doctor to see a picture of our embryo yeah. and for you to take Valium yeah. and then for us to go. So, my bladder needs to be full for the procedure. I'm just very She's doing a little squimmer over here. I feel like I can forever pipe in this place. <laughs> Called it an expanding blastocyst, yes. which means it's on the move. It's yeah. ready That's to. That's why there's a more of a lumpy look to it than last time. Yeah. Because it's growing, it's gonna get ready to hatch out of that. So last time we was very chill and right afterwards, and we're still gonna have a very chill day. But we have a few things we got to do right away. We're on our way to the bank to get a money order, so we're gonna and then we're gonna drop off our money order and sign our lease at our new apartment since it's around the corner here. Yeah. And then breakfast and or brunch maybe and then Sarah's going straight to the uh acupuncturist, acupuncturist to get all zen like yes and then relax i went yesterday and today so it'll be extra zen so that's our morning and then we'll definitely kick back and just put on my lucky transfer socks thank you Haley, again for these um one of like the big things they say is to keep your feet warm. I guess if your feet are warm, your uterus is warm. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing these for the next two weeks straight. Two weeks straight. During Dom and Victoria's wedding. <laughs> Ooh. We got car or apartment keys. <laughs> we actually got to go inside the apartment. I don't think we told you guys, like we never actually saw the apartment. We, we were just kind of like- Sight unseen. <laughs> we're like, it looks good online. The guy was trustworthy. We like the location, so we were just like, this is it. But so we actually got to see it. It's cozy. I really like yeah. it. We'll show you Saturday. Yay! Um, but so we're going to go to lunch at our Market on South place, but since we're in the neighborhood, we're going to stop and check check because they should have our singlets because we're in brand ambassadors for them. So we're going to check out the store and see if they have our singlets and love it. It smells like bacon. They did not have them today. No, because there's a Battle of the Bands 5K this weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but we're a little busy. Yeah, but now we'll live in the area, so we can just swing on by. Oh, yeah. My mom would be proud of me. And I got a cider. Celebratory lunch, brunch. Big day. Big day. Keys for a Look at, we're humans again. People say, New, new house, new baby. There's a saying like that or something. Fourth time's the charm on the new house. <laughs> hey, we got it this time. Yes, I feel good. Our, our delicious food is out. You can see we already sent photos to friends in the internet. But I got the, what is it, the Dirty Self protein bowl? Yes. What I did got you get? chili cheese dogs. Ooh. I'm pretzel bunny. I'm pretzel buns with her mac and cheese that she's been what dreaming about. What did you about. call these last time? They're called cheese homies, but what did I call them? And the hot toddies, which... <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> what are they called? They're not called the hot toddies. <laughs> I forget, but I laugh for a really long time. <laughs> Do not mess with somebody post-transfer looking at sweets. We got the full spread today. We got this natural awakening. I'm going to check this out later. Well, Sarah's an acupuncturist. Sarah got what's called a brookie. This looks like a brownie cookie. Ooh, and I got a bourbon YOLO. Delicious. 
I'm full. That have was it, some good chili. Have it been you hot and drained? Yeah, but I gotta come back because they have specials different days of the week. They have a fried pickle po' boy. They have chicken pot pie, not chicken pot pie, some sort of pot pie. And beer cheese burger on Friday. It's a busy morning, like. Yeah, now we're back. In our last stop. Winter Park in our last stop. Well, second last stop because we're gonna stop at the Peel Box, too. So Sarah's about to go to acupuncture for the next hour, and I'm gonna read my ultra running book because we're going to Squamish 50 miles <laughs> next August. Yep, so they say, I did acupuncture before the last transfer, but I have since read you should do it before and after. So she did it yesterday, it. and she's doing it today. Yep. Have a good nap. Thanks. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, do I look well rested? I just finished acupuncture. It was such a good session. Like, really, really good. And what was cool is that she could tell that I was a little dehydrated, which is funny because I drank so much water today. Um, so Peter is running in and getting me a body armor electrolyte drink. And so it's just kind of cool to be able to go and like, she can tell when things are off and it could be really helpful for it all. So I feel really good. Um, but now we are going to go to the P.O. Box and head home and relax. Peter's going to edit the vlog for me. Isn't he the sweetest? Um, and yesterday came out on digital download and we had pre-ordered it. Also, we got um, Aladdin live action. So that's probably what I'll spend the rest of the night doing. She's back to being the only dog. Sarah's resting. Katie just left for work and she's letting me use her laptop so I can sit on the couch and edit because I'm going to edit today's vlog. I don't know what to watch, guys. Watch The Crown. Done. Hmm. Dustin has both the doggies, so Eve's alone. She wants to escape. She wants to escape badly. I just brought her outside and she wanted to go in the car so bad. Guess what, Eve, we got the keys to our place. We're going to our home on Saturday, okay? Saturday. Can you the treat bag? That's her at the treats. Come on, come on. Go get your treats. Girl. My night has brought me to a fancy Target over here in Winter Garden Village for two quick little errands. If you've been watching us long enough, you knew you know that we follow the things that I call the hoodoo voodoo, which is all the like little folklores that Sarah's heard about and I've heard about and read about and friends have told us about. And so I'm getting restocked on some of those things, like a pineapple. I'm also gonna get a new bottle of pomegranate juice because Sarah's out. And then we're doing something that I don't think we talked about last time. And there's a, a lot of people think that McDonald's french fries will help implantation. We know they're not vegan, so sorry, but we're getting McDonald's french fries because I will do, and Sarah will do, anything for our babes. So that's what I'm here to grab. Not on the list, but Sarah loves these, so grabbing them. Last but not least. Um, wonderful pomegranate juice. All the voodoo voodoo in one. Can we talk for a quick moment on how beautiful the outside of this target is? Look how beautiful the sun is. Look how beautiful the sky and the palm trees are. This foliage, this architecture. It's a super target, that's how you know what's up. Proof, 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 I am here. I am ordering 196. Two large french fries. So McDonald's french fries, we've explained before, had beef fat in them, so that's why they're not considered vegan. But Sarah and I will answer to whoever we have to answer to about that in our own world. So we're gonna do it, and it's only gonna be because of the transfer, so it'll be the only vegan, non-vegan thing since we've done this whole thing. That was a nice and busy McDonald's, but I got the fries, I got the pineapple, got the pomegranate, got the buy drink, Got all the goods. Now I gotta go home and give it all to Sarah. He's getting his playlist ready. Hey, oh. How many miles are you running? Five. Are you sad about it? Uh, no, I'm sad like it's nine o'clock already. Yeah. Flew by. It did. It did. Hopefully the next two weeks fly by. Well, get ready. Something came out today that we pre-ordered. What is it? Yesterday. So, 
even though it's late. I have a big day tomorrow at work. I actually have an off-site meeting all day. And I have this much left to read in my Scott Jurek ultra marathon running. I went on my run, I ate some pasta, took a shower. I talked with my mom, watched some Jane the Virgin, played with my puppy dog. We're gonna watch this movie before we go to bed. Yep. It is the 10th and today's by D. Antoinette Foy. Forget the lingering darkness in your scars and pour so much light into everything you touch. The universe will have to create brighter stars once you're gone. Wow. I think those stars could be referencing my children and that's awesome because today was transfer day. Wow, I look like I fell asleep on the couch. You did. I didn't finish my book yet, but I'm close to it. Yeah. But it's late and I have to get up early because I have to I'm not going to my office tomorrow. I'm going somewhere else for work. So I got to get up early. Yep. But I can't believe we got our keys to our apartment Got today. our keys to our apartment. We saw it. I'm saw excited. it. Did our IVF transfer. Did our picture day. of our embryo. And now the waiting game begins. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Good we're thing we're busy. We have a busy two weeks. So hopefully it'll fly by more than last time. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.